Good afternoon and welcome back. I am Olivia Gaines, USA Today bestselling author, and today I'm going to show you how to create a book template using Word. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead and open up your Word and we're going to walk through this together step by step. Okay, first thing I want to do is that we want to create a new document here. And my computer is a little bit antiquated that I'm working with. Okay, so now we've got a new document. And what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and change the font because I just hate that Calibri. And we're going to make it to a point size 12. Okay, so from here, we're going to hit Control, Enter, create another page. We're going to do it again to three, four, five. So now we have basically five pages. We're going to scroll back up to the top and we are going to go to the insert tab and we're going to insert a cover page. I like to use this cover page because it looks kind of classy <laughs> and it's simple. So here we're going to call it my book template. Uh, of course, I don't like the font, so I always go back and change my fonts. I like a Century School book. I like a sans serif font because it's a little bit uh, easier on the eye, especially when it comes to reading versus just having those rounded ends of, of the other letters. Okay, so here we're going to enter our, enter my name. And of course, I really don't like it in that blue. And this also needs to be in a century school book. Let's make that a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger right there. We can also change the color of these. If you click on it and hit format, go here to color and you can change it to black or you can change it to green. But for right now, we're gonna leave it at the basic black. We're going to do the same thing for that little dongle at the bottom. We're going to change that to black as well. And we're going to scroll down. I always leave these blank because we're going to come back to them. So now we're at the top of the document. And this is going to be our back matter page. And it's just going to say back matter. We're going to center it and we're going to make it a point size 18 simply because that's a good size. This page, we're going to leave blank for right now. So this is page three. And we're going to scroll down to page four. And page four is where we're going to start setting up our template. So what we want this one to be is chapter one, the beginning. Okay. And we're going to hit return. Right here, we're going to start talk, start typing. I'm just going to type in something that's going to give us some text to know that we can work with. Um, So it's basically one, two, three sentences. It's enough. So I don't really have to select the whole setting. I could just put the mouse anywhere or the cursor anywhere in that paragraph. And then we hit full justification here. And what we're going to do, we're going to select this and we're going to go here. See where it says remove space after the paragraph? 
let's go ahead and remove that space. So when you hit return at the end of that paragraph, you won't have that gap. It'll go right down to where it needs to go. But we've missed a step. So what I want to go do, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to drag it to right there. I know usually your tabs are about here, but when you're formatting in a template like this and you're going to upload it for an ebook, that margin is absolutely, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to do it again. So now when we hit return, it comes right to the space. The Brothers Johnson sent a strawberry letter, which was in fact the 23rd letter she'd received from them. And she wasn't going to have it. Yeah, it's not the greatest text, but it gives us what we need, okay? And it automatically came back to that full justification, but I don't think I set, there we go. Let's do it at a 1.15, 1 1.15. Uh, a 1.5 is a little bit too deep. Let's do 1.15, and that gives us a good look for the template. Now we need to go set our references in. We're going to make this a level one. And of course, it's coming in blue. I don't like blue. And I like my headers to be at a 16. So we change that to 16. So now that we've got the first one, all we do is copy it. Scroll down to the next page and we paste it. We change this one to chapter two. And we change it to the fight. We go down to the next page and we paste it. And this is now chapter three, the rumble. Okay, so now you've got your basic, basic, basic template, but we're gonna do a couple of other things here to make sure that we've got everything as it should be. I, t I typed back matter, but that should be front matter. And here, we're going to go to the reference and we're going to add in a table of contents. And there it is, your table of contents. We're going to change that to black and we're going to center it. And of course, we're going to change it back to Century School Book. Now, anytime you are adding more chapters, all you do is come here and click update table and you want to in, update the entire table to make sure all of your table of contents are in there. There's a couple other things that I want to show you that's going to make life really, really easy. So we're going to do some headers and footers. We're going to insert a header and we're going to keep it as a basic header. So right here, we're going to type in Olivia Gaines. That's the author name. I'm going to change it to a century school book. Go back to your design and we want the headers to be different, odd and even pages. Okay, so this will be my book template. I like that, center it, change it to Century School Book, and we're done there. And as you're scrolling back through, you'll see that this has Olivia Gaines there. This page says my book template. This page says Olivia Gaines. This page says my book template. All right, the only other thing that we are missing, and if you can do this if you want to do this, so we're going to insert page numbers at the bottom of the page, and we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it centered. We're going to enter that there and hit close. And now you have your very first book template. There is an extra page in there. Let 
One, two, three. I leave the extra page in there. So even when I'm adding my front matter, if I'm adding my copyright information here, I've already got the next page for acknowledgments. And sometimes this works smoothly and sometimes it doesn't. You just hit control return it to take it back where it needs to go. And there's your acknowledgments page. So now you have created your very own book template using Word. If you have any questions, you could always drop the comments down there in the, in the comment section and shoot me an email and I will get back with you. Have a great one.